Jewish people are known as the people of the book. This means that our tradition as a nation is to value education, to live by the idea that the world is changed by education. But what type of education? And there's the education that teaches us how to earn a living, how to be an entrepreneur, how to make a million bucks, and that's a good education. And we need it. I mean, uh, a man's got to eat, right? But there's a different type of education, and, and it's this type of education that our heritage focuses on. The Judaism believes that, that man is here to have a maximally meaningful life, to make the biggest meaningful difference that he can. And Jewish education focuses on this, teaching us about giving versus taking, effort versus comfort, spirituality and goodness, the nature of existence, the purpose of life, etc. M much more than it teaches us fundamental skills like different ways to make a living or very important technical know-how like how to fix a car or draft a legal document or create an SEO strategy for a startup. And this distinction is really important because in the history of man, most civilizations have been defined by their goals. World domination for Alexander the Great, a communist utopia for the Soviets, uh, the American dream in the USA. But the education of the people, the regular Joes, is generally an education that will further the dreams of that society. It's the only intelligent way to build a society. Now, in the Jewish constitution, the Torah, the goal is not a communist utopia or to create a melting pot. It's to empower people to live maximally meaningful lives. And that's why our education is focused on how to get meaning. Now, you might not feel that you need that much education about life. I mean, most people have some idea of how to live a meaningful life. Everyone's different. It feels meaningful when they do different things. But, you know, we all do our best and, and we all feel that we can kind of look back at our lives and feel that it counted for something. Now, if the truth be told, most of us wish that we could make our lives count even more than they already do. But that's not the same as like needing an education about it, as if to imply that we have no clue. This week, I, I want to explore this idea. The Torah begins this week's portion of Parsha by enumerating a long list of highly technical laws about economics, labor laws, torts, the treatment of orphans by larger society, dietary law, certain rules for judges, etc. It's a huge breadth of ideas about building an ethical society. And due to the juxtaposition of this week's portion with the last week's, the commentaries link all of these laws, torts, economics, etc. to the giving of the Torah at Sinai from last week's portion. And the commentaries explain all these laws also come from Sinai. Now the conference question is, what does that mean? I mean these, these laws, the laws from our portion, the economics, does that... They weren't said at Sinai, it's a week later, right? And then the commentaries explain that the point is to communicate that the meaning of life is not contained solely in the religious or spiritual experience characterized by the giving of Torah at Sinai, God speaking to man, the nation gathered as one, a huge personal spiritual experience, a voice ringing out, keep Shabbat, do not kill. Judaism and meaning is not found only during the religious spiritual experience at Sinai or for us today within the walls of the synagogue during prayer. The rabbis refer to all the civil laws in our Torah portion and say also these ideas were taught at Sinai. All these laws of economics and politics and social structure and rules for judges, me meaning is also found in these areas and they are just as important. And when a person tries to live a truly ethical, meaningful life, like 100%, they realize very quickly that they don't know what to do over and above the basics. I mean, it's not hard to help an old lady cross the road. Um, anyone can volunteer once in a while. We, we all know how to do that. But the reason people don't build truly ethical businesses and experience the profoundly meaningful feeling of being a deeply honest person or, or, or build a really successful marriage and experience the profoundly meaningful feeling of having been a faithful, nurturing, and loving partner it's, not beca it's because it's really hard, and it's not because they don't want to. Not at all. It, it's because we just don't know how to do it. It's struggle. It's difficult. It's complicated. We feel things. We get messed up. It's hard. So people give up, and they think they can't have such a fulfilling life, and then they make do with a simpler dosage of meaning. They help out at an orphanage. They call their parents once in a while, and just try not to think too hard about it. And that's really the insight of the Parsha and the portion of this week. You see, having a more meaningful life requires that you know how to get meaning out of more complex circumstances. So the Torah teaches us the laws of this portion are connected to Sinai, i.e. meaning is found in the complex interactions we have with society, not just in the religious moment. And that therefore, 
God created in its fault. And, and they serve as guidelines for us in these complex, in, complex interactions with each other, and with economics and torts and, and the weak segments of society and how we treat them. It's telling us that in order to live a truly full life, you have to have a full understanding of the world. You have to put time into understanding. You need to learn how to get pleasure out of life, how to be a real intellectual, how to use free will, and then apply what you've learned. So you understand how to get meaning out of earning a living, which is what business halakha, business Jewish law, it's all about how to get meaning out of building a better society for the weak and downtrodden, which is what social halakha, it, it's all about. Being a good person is not just about helping an old lady cross the road and not killing anyone. I mean, you know, that's not such a high level. I didn't kill anyone. It's about learning and understanding the complex interactions with every aspect of life and, and learning to see them as opportunities for meaning so we can live the life that we all deserve. Now, we all do this. And, you know, often we're deeper than we seem. And we try harder than anyone else possibly realizes. But it's okay to need a little guidance. Life is complex, and so are we. So take the time. Take the time to learn a little bit about life. Take the time to interact with those who are wiser than you. Take the time to understand the details. I'm pretty confident that for within those details, you'll find many, many diamonds. This is Jamie Cowland. Uh, Shabbat Shalom from Jerusalem and justify.org.